To all who come to this happy place, welcome. Now we've all been on Pirates of the Caribbean and sailed past the Blue Bayou as the ride begins. It's a very classy Disneyland restaurant that personally I love to eat at. But let us not forget that there was also going to be something very similar for the mansion. The Museum of the Weird. It wouldn't really be a dining experience like the Blue Bayou, but it would be a precursor to the actual Haunted Mansion ride experience. Before entering, I assume even the stretching room portion of the attraction, guests would pass through a sort of exhibition, showing off weird artifacts facts collected from all over the world. The lead Imagineer behind this attraction is one I've gotten to know personally, Rolly Crump. The exhibition would feature things like Romani and voodoo artifacts, and other items that may or may not be haunted. The museum would also feature a chair that would stand up and speak to guests, an interactive queue before interactive queues were a thing, a disappearing ghost playing an organ which we all see these days in the ballroom, and other various odds and ends, including my personal favorite, a character I wish they used in the Haunted Mansion, the Candleman. Now this guy is super spooky looking, but I think he's super cool. He's a man made out of wax with the wicks on the end of his fingers and head lit. He would be melting, of course, and I just think this is really cool and I really hope they use this design someday in the Haunted Mansion. The museum would also feature a Romani cart, which was retooled and repurposed eventually into Madame Leota's cart, which apparently stood outside Disneyland's mansion for some time, but I don't think it does anymore. Pretty sure I would have noticed. The living chair from the museum, though, did make the cut and appears in the Haunted Mansion to the left of the Endless Hallway. It's pretty dark in there, but if you squint and try really hard, you can kind of see the face on the chair. Other inclusions from the museum that kind of made the cut into the mansion are the grandfather clock before Madame Leota's scene, the hands holding the sconces at the end of the ride, and of course the ghost playing the organ. At some point, the Museum of the Weird was shelved and eventually cancelled, but it was kind of revived through the Disney Kingdom's comic line called Seekers of the Weird. So I guess Rolly got his day in the sun after all. All. But come on, let's add some stuff to the mansion. What do you guys think of the Museum of the Weird? Do you think it should have been part of the Haunted Mansion, or do you like how it faded into obscurity, but you wish they'd bring back a certain character, like, oh, I don't know, the Candleman? Bring back the Candleman is what I'm saying. I'll see you all a little later.